five hours later. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, I'll say in and out is justified S tier. It's pretty fucking good. Honest champ. It's a big bathroom, bro. Yo, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fancy bathroom. Look at this. This is fancy. Sheesh. But we get shit view, though. Nah, that's fine. We didn't pay for the view upgrade. Welcome to the Palazzo room tour. When you enter, here's the bathroom, but Peter's currently in it, so I can't go in just yet. This door leads to another neighbor's room, so we won't go there. And here's the Palazzo suite. We ordered the uh, two queen bed option. There's Yoshi chilling on the bed. Here's a TV cabinet. There's another TV over there. That's a trap cabinet. That's the trap cabinet with all the paid snacks that they'll charge you for if you accidentally open it. Over here is the sofa, which apparently we're going to use as another bed so we don't have to share beds. Walk down here. There's more desks. More desks where you can write stuff and do work. Be busy. And that's about it. We were originally supposed to get the Venetian room, but they actually gave us the Palazzo as an upgrade, I guess, since this room technically costs more when I last checked it. So it's not a bad deal at all. The only caveat is we have to walk extra to get anywhere because this is located very much out of the way. In fact, over here, we're right next to the wind. Bathroom tour. So it opens up like this. On the left we have a vanity. Over here in this door, there's a hidden toilet. You can't lock the door, so good luck. Two sinks, bathtub, and the shower. Not bad. And there's also a TV in the bathroom. Anyways, we've had a very long day. It's 2.30 a.m. over here, and surprisingly, I'm not that tired anymore. But I'm just going to try to sleep in the bed anyway. We'll see what happens tomorrow. It's going to be hot. Morning. Today is Monday, July 1st, 2024. And today, I'm on a moat. We're in the Venetian. It's our first full day in Vegas. Uh, probably gonna go look for breakfast and then we're gonna go hit a Walmart to try to find a cooler. I swear it really feels like these clouds are moving. But I feel like they're also painted. My yard bird? Yeah, that chicken bird looks good. Damn, this is a scene. Oh shit, it's the real Batman. Trying the breakfast buffet at Grand Lux Cafe. It's all you can eat, so I guess if you eat enough, you get your money's worth. Are we? I don't know. Are you gonna eat $28 worth of breakfast? 
So the omelet is really good. I didn't ask for cheese, but they gave me cheese and the cheddar. Uh, the sausage is also really good. This ham is not that good, though. It's very hard. The ham looks burnt. <laughs> yeah, it's very burnt. Very overcooked ham. Use my five dollars and instantly wins. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh god, that's a lot of bowls. And you get double too. And the double. Damn, look at that money go. We just made. <laughs> I'm catching out. <laughs> All right. Holy, five dollars turned into that much? No way, on the very first time. Are we cashing out? Cash out. Cash out. Cash out. <laughs> $5 became $35. We're here at Las Vegas Chinatown, which is just in a strip mall. Look at that. Look at that. 99 Ranch oh, right there. Market. Wanna go in? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go. I've never been to one, actually. <laughs> Holy, who let them cook? <laughs> You've heard of Hell's Kitchen, but have you seen Hell's Chicken? Check the view. We found the one piece. The one piece is real. Poured the lemon into here and the blue drink became purple. Well, now you're a bartender. Yes, we're <laughs> bartenders now. Well, now we're just gonna spend the next few hours exploring a few hotels nearby along the strip. We're gonna start off with Treasure Island. I'm done. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm done. He, he made twice, he turned it to a hundred bucks. Treasure Island was shit. Hey, 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 I won. Yeah, this guy won $50, I lost 20, so we're going to the Mirage now. I lost money. Where's your betting call? It's your turn, man. I have no money. Oh. Alright, I played the Buffalo game again and I made my money back in here, so this hotel is pretty good. I'm now at net zero. Didn't win and didn't lose anything since I came here. Uh, now we're just walking over to the wind through the Venetian again since we have a reservation for the wind buffet later tonight so we might as well just go over there and uh, play some machines ahead of time $30. That's how you do it. Wait a minute, that's my dollar. <laughs> the line on the right is for reservations, which I did, and the line on the left, which is snakes all the way around, is for non reservations. Alright, for round one I got a bunch of crab legs and then I got this uh, tuna on something and a bunch of uh, cold cuts. <laughs> round two I just got a bunch of more meats. And then there's extra meat over there that I might have to clean up. For round three I got a bunch of dessert. This ube coconut drink is one of the surprising hits of the night. I normally am not too big a coconut fan but I love this drink. I ate my full here. I'll say a good amount of the food was interesting. I tried a lot of new stuff. For what it is, it's a good one and done experience. Glad I tried it. Probably would come again though. 
anyways tomorrow we're going to probably try and go to the Grand Canyon uh, we're gonna have to wake up super early so wish us the best of luck morning today is Tuesday July 2nd 2024 and today we're staring at the sun rising it's 5 30 over here and everyone's really tired but this is the only chance we get to go see the Grand Canyon or at least part of the Grand Canyon because from Vegas the only possible thing is Grand Canyon West which isn't really the Grand Canyon but it's close enough and we don't really have that much time for it so it's either we see that or we don't see anything at all so plan is to do that for the first half of the day or at least the first few hours and then we'll come back and go um, explore the strip some more I guess my brain is not processing stuff right now the sphere is on fire just like the earth our first stop is Jack in the Box for breakfast I heard the food here is not actually that good but I have to try it once anyway I got uh, two tacos meat lovers burrito and curly fries This is the loudest goddamn car I've ever been in. Never rent a Jeep, guys. Welcome to the Hoover Dam. We're on the border of Nevada and Arizona, but we're on the Arizona side right now. Here we are at the Hoover Dam. We should drive this Jeep compass off. <laughs> Well, this is what a bathroom in the middle of nowhere looks like. It's a porta potty. We're at a random Arizona mini mart in the middle of the highway. I found these uh, Hidden Valley Ranch Beagles. I'm gonna try them. We're here at another scenic view. What the fuck is Lisa doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Finally made it to the Grand Canyon West. Now we gotta go inside and wait for a bus. <laughs> we got Yoshi <laughs> coming with us. Beware of snacks. Welcome to Grand Canyon West. There's the glass bridge. Touching Arizona grass. Oh, yeah. We're inside a clay house. No way. Well, we've seen enough of Eagle Point. We're gonna go over to Guano Point next. Well, we're now at the second part, Guano Point. Yeah, this is no railing here. You can literally just hop off. Oh. Now here's the point where nobody can hear you scream. <laughs> well, that was a nice experience. I enjoyed Guano Point more than Eagle Point, mostly because we actually got to do some hiking. Now we're gonna make our way back to Las Vegas. We're gonna go eat some sushi for lunch. Too bad it's not happy hour.
Well, now that we're done eating sushi, we have a new problem on our hands. Well, it's not really a new problem. We already knew this was a problem. The car has no oil in it. And the Turo guy is not responding. So, we're in a bit of a pickle here. We could either go change the oil, but then it comes out of our pockets, and we don't know if that guy's gonna reimburse us because he's not really the best host. So now we're trying to contact him, but he's also not responding. Holy, the nasty oil. Nice. It's so black. That shit's blacker than black. They didn't even fucking change the oil for so long. Julius Caesar loves apple, confirmed. This is the aquarium, huh? Well, Caesar, you kind of cheaped out a little bit here. All right, Caesar, you have an actual aquarium. I take it back. morning today is wednesday july 3rd 2023 and today we're checking out of the venetian and las vegas i spent the last night sleeping on this couch it was actually very comfortable i think this is the first time a couch has actually been comfortable enough to sleep on at least in the hotel um, the venetian overall was really good um, we didn't get to explore too many hotels around here because vegas is huge so we only got to go to the Wynn, Mirage, Treasure Island, Link, and Caesar's Palace, I believe. And out of all those, I still think the Venetian is probably the best one. We're going to check out the hotel in a few minutes, and we're going to start making our way down to LA. However, for this vlog, I'm just going to cut it straight to where we come back to Vegas uh, a week later. So... You'll be seeing the back half of our Vegas trip before the LA vlog. Well, anyways, we're checking out the Venetian. On to the next part of our journey. Keep going. Huh? You gain $50. I can't believe that they finally have my name for one of these. One week later. Bathroom tour. We have the twin vanity over here. There's a hot tub. A shower room with a bench. And this is the toilet. Over here we have a TV. Two big beds. The dangerous mini bar. An actual fridge. An iPad that controls all the features in the room. Closets. Another TV. A sofa. And here's the balcony that leads outside to the view. This is our view from Cosmopolitan. We have the Bellagio fountains playing in the foreground. And you can see the Sphere, the Eiffel Tower, and every other hotel up the strip. 
that is just very hot. Fuck your leg! Shit, my so fucking go! That's that's what you do when your foot is uh, 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 right. That's when you want to massage your feet. You get it really hot. <laughs> There is the Bellagio Fountain Show that happens every hour on the dot between the afternoon and midnight. I can't hear it from here though because it's very high up. I can imagine it's very loud. Morning. Today is Friday, July 12th, 2024. And today I'm on a cosmopolitan balcony. Today is our last day in Vegas and the West Coast in general. We're gonna be spending the day just going to uh, Hell's Kitchen as well as just uh, last minute uh, casino gambling before we fly out at 11.59 tonight. This is what $100 a breakfast looks like. This fancy. Washington Monument. Well, it's not nighttime and it's not on fire, but here we are walking into Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen was definitely a 10 out of 10 experience. Sticky toffee pudding blew everything else out of the water, even the beef wellington. But everything else was really good too. Now we're just gonna spend the rest of the day heading around casinos and just probably gambling a little bit. Oh no, the Mirage is dying because they're closing soon. They're paying out all the winners. There's no more money. All these machines are paying out now. Everyone's here getting free money while we're watching. That's like the most generic rich person color scheme. I don't know why people think this is weird. You can dip fries in milkshake all the no. time. No. It's not weird, it's normal. No. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a sandstorm and there was a bunch of sand spectacles flying all over the place <laughs> into our eyes. Not what I expected to see on the last day. Oh shit, it's so dry up here. Look at all that dust. Mm. Well, anyways, we're flying back from Vegas now. Yoshi's gonna go into to check storage because we have no more space for him. This is not Yoshi abuse, we're just trying to be as economical as possible. Until next time. <laughs>